the definition of the surgery is called a Jones fracture is the name of this particular type of fracture. Not every fracture of the fifth metatarsal of that bone is a Jones fracture, but some of them are. And the ones in that area are the ones that are problem fractures because the blood supply is not great to that area, which is why you don't see bruising on her foot. And typically when someone injures their foot, they say, hey doc, I was on the court and I felt a big pop in my foot. And you expect to see this huge amount of bruising or swelling and there's not because there's really not the blood supply there to make that happen. And that goes to show you why it's so hard for that particular fracture to heal up. So oftentimes you'll take an x-ray in the office and you see this and you talk to the patient about their treatment options. Treatment option one is a non-operative route, and if you go that route, typically it's 12 to 15 weeks non-weight bearing in a cast, uh, if you really follow the rules. And even some of those will go on and have to have a surgery because they frankly won't heal up. So many people will elect to have the surgery done because the surgery basically cuts your recovery time in half, more or less, in order to get back to doing what you want to do with it. Um, so the, what people should expect from it is, you know, it's an outpatient surgery, it typically takes about 20 to 30 minutes to do. Typically there's a, for instance, this patient has what's called a popliteal block so that when she wakes up from surgery, she'll have no pain at all for the first 14 to 24 hours in her foot and ankle. And frankly, it's such a minimally invasive surgery, they just don't hurt all that bad. It's not like fixing a broken ankle or having a bunion fixed or other things that we do like that. Uh, so people typically recover very quickly from it. And the other part about it is that the person who typically has a surgery is a young, active, motivated patient, person or patient and they want to get back more quickly and so they tend to kind of sail through surgery pretty quickly. Some people, athletes in particular, when they get back from this, um, we use like an arch support or orthotic in their shoe to kind of stiffen up that area a bit. But that's not everybody either. Many people can get back in normal tennis shoes at about six to eight weeks out and really begin exercising fine. And we try not to really restrict people with this. Again, we use that amazingly strong, solid screw. So really, as I tell the patients, there's really good rebar in your foot. You're really not going to re-injure or break this thing and they can really advance their activities pretty quickly and, and hopefully get back to doing the things they want to do more quickly.